Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on a telegram channel called Forbidden Science. Please check the description to know more about the channel. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of a the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Archaeological investigations in the area of Pompeii are delightful. Not everyone is happy, because the plumbing system with taps, valves, and faucets, similar to modern ones, does not fit much into the history of technological progress. Valves were created in the 18th century, faucets in the 13th, and in Pompeii they already existed 2000 years ago. Archaeologists dig out, and then the scientists have to think how to explain the findings and not to destroy the foundation of the coherent chronology. Udug Bakel and the Black Sea This is still operating Yudashni Diamond Mine, Republic of Saka, Yakusha. This is flooded mine, nowadays, it is often called Lake Bakel. This is another flooded mine, which is incorrectly called the Black Sea. You do not need to be a spanner in the sky to understand the origin of the last two. Only who and what was extracted there remains a mystery. Most likely forever. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. A Jesuit missionary, Martinius, in the 17th century wrote a book called History of China, based on ancient chronicles. In it, he writes an ink on paper about an unusual occurrence on earth. The pillar of heaven collapsed. The earth was shaken to its very foundations. The sky began to fall to the north. The sun, moon, and stars changed the path of their motion. The whole system of the universe came into disarray. The sun was in an eclipse, and the wandering stars changed their paths. Simply put, these annals testify to the global catastrophes of the past, the existence of which is completely ignored by modern official science. NASA and French scientists studied 100 crater funnels. The conclusion is. They were all formed by meteorites falling about 350 million years ago. All of them are the same size, 2 to 3 kilometers, except for a couple of very large craters. The independent researchers immediately pounced on the scientists with uncomfortable but fair questions. In 350 million years, there shouldn't be a trace of the craters, erosion, exposure to animal and plant life would have flattened them long ago, or smoothed them out as if they never existed. Houses have been covered by a cultural layer for 100 years, and craters have not been covered for 350 million years, by age they should be deeper in the ground than the so-called dinosaurs. The same size is found in shell or bomb craters, because so-called meteorites and asteroids do not have the same caliber. So, there is a very high chance that the craters are of artificial origin. International exhibitions of the past were record-breaking in their speed, architectural beauty, and cutting-edge technology. 
In 1915, in one year, they built pavilions for the San Francisco exhibition, and one of the central elements were fountains with prefabricated columns. At night, the stone columns turned into light columns, where the xenon. In the daylight, it is visible that the material is not transparent, even if you crammed all the bulbs available at the time inside, you still do not get that brightness. Despite the preservation of the technical and construction documentation of the exhibition, there is one white spot in the history, there is no mention of any substation, nor of the wiring, nor of the required power to operate the devices. The name of the scientist, inventor, physicist and meteorologist, Nikolai Mishkin, you will not find in any physics encyclopedia. All Mishkin knew was that the Earth's atmosphere contains a huge reserve of electric energy, regardless of weather, cloud cover, time of year and day. All he did was to create a way to utilize atmospheric electrical energy, creating collectors of electricity in the form of plates with hundreds of metal points. The experiments were successful. The engine worked perfectly on electricity stolen from the sky. The First World War, 1905 and 1917, destroyed the existing installations and closed the way for Mishkin's research. Perhaps, when the hydrocarbon reserves run out, mankind will remember the Russian inventor and his working system for obtaining atmospheric electricity. In the Rostov region, there is the Voskresensky Cathedral of the early 18th century. Near the church, there are the remains of a tombstone stele made of stone that looks like black granite or basalt. There is no similar rock in the vicinity, and why would you bring it hundreds kilometers away? But that is not the main mystery. The stone has an inner corner with smooth edges. There were no machine tools in 1706, neither were there disc saws, and you cannot get such a quality of work with a pen. The researchers have addressed to the stone works technologist with a direct question, how to receive such an angle in granite by modern methods. The technologist honestly answered that there was no way. To make a sharp inside angle with such quality of treatment is impossible, there are no such tools in technology. Were there any in the early 18th century? By the way, look what I found. Can you see your toes too? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.